Welcome back guys to another video and today I have some very very exciting news for you. Now if you are a Raspberry Pi fan, you can get a Raspberry Pi for yourself for just $5. You heard me right, just $5 or £4 and if you live in India, it's around 300 rupees. So if you are thinking, you know, maybe 3000 rupees Raspberry Pi is a bit too much. Now you can get yourself for just 500 rupees or less. It's not officially available in India yet, but uh, it would be around the same price point. So let's see what the Raspberry Pi Zero is all about. Now I don't have one for myself yet because I live in India. So we can just, uh, I'll post some pictures and you know, you guys can compare what the Raspberry Pi is. So let's straight up drive into the specs and what the Raspberry Pi is actually running. Now it runs the Broadcom BCM2835 uh, processor. Uh, now this is the same one used in your Raspberry Pi A plus as well as your Raspberry Pi B plus and the previous models. So all the operating systems uh, on the previous models can be run on this particular Raspberry Pi. It's completely backwards compatible. It also has 512 MB of DDR2 RAM, which is the same as the B+. Now, the main difference is the Raspberry Pi Zero it runs at a default clock speed of 1 GHz. That means it will be around 40% faster than the Raspberry Pi B+. Now, uh, we also have a micro SD card slot, a mini HDMI socket for 1080p 60fps videos. Now, you will need a mini HDMI to full HDMI converter and we also have micro USB sockets for data and power. So on this particular model of the Raspberry Pi, we have two separate USB uh, micro USB ports. One is for power and one is for USB on the go. So we, you would be needing a USB on the go cable to attach any peripherals onto it. We also have an unpopulated 40 pin GPIO header that means you, you will have to attach the pins yourselves uh, to make all the attachment actually fit on the Raspberry Pi. We also get an unpopulated composite video header which means the uh, RCA cable that you connect to old TVs you can connect that but you will need to attach the connector yourself you just have two pins for the signals. Now this Raspberry Pi is the smallest Raspberry Pi that has ever been manufactured. Now at this small form factor, it's at 65 mm into 30 mm into 5 mm. Now if th these numbers don't make any sense, I will have comparison photos for you guys to see and to uh, judge how small this Raspberry Pi actually is. Now of course, this in my opinion was done to remove competitions like the Odroid W and the uh, CHIP Kickstarter that was available for just $9. And of course, it's not just about the competition when it comes to the Raspberry Pi, it's about education. Now, what the uh, foundation is aiming to do with the Raspberry Pi Zero is to eliminate any cost issues from the Raspberry Pi. Uh, now, the Raspberry Pi being so cheap, more and more students, schools, and kids all over the world can afford it. Now this Raspberry Pi is also available for free if you buy the MagPi magazine. Uh, that means if you buy the hard copy of the MagPi magazine or, you, or if you subscribe to the hard copy of the MagPi magazine. Now this is the first time any computer related magazine is providing a computer free with its uh, issue and which is absolutely great so you buy a magazine which comes with all sort of educational stuff you can learn stuff and also you can implement all of uh, the things that you have learned with the free computer that you get with the magpie zero so this was a short video explaining what the raspberry Pi zero actually is and of course it's just for five dollars it will be in shortage now we all know how the how raspberry Pi like they just come and go uh, there's not a lot of stock uh, in the uh, early months whenever a Raspberry Pi product is launched. So of course you've got to be quick to get one of these and I'm still waiting for my retailer to have them in stock and to buy one of them. So it's really cheap and you can go and get yours. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.